keep it for? The manufacturer says that we could leave the juice there for more than one year, even two years. So you could keep orange juice in these tanks for two whole years? Yeah, we could. Hola, I'm Kate. OK, I'm Gregorio. Gregorio, hello. So these guys are picking these oranges now. When will this orange be juiced? This afternoon is in the farm for make the juice, and maybe in two days you have the juice. So maybe we can try. Maybe we can yeah, try yeah, juicing yeah, yes, now, yes. yeah? Uh, pretty tough. I'm guessing that this isn't the process in the mm, factory. Yeah, similar, <laughs> similar. <laughs> Amazing. And quite different to what you buy in the supermarket. I don't know. Probably because there you need to put something in the juice for wait maybe one month or, or two weeks. Hola, I'm Kate. I'm Roger. <sighs> okay. How come you get a proper hat? What? Do you <laughs> like this it? is a proper hat, yes. Yeah, this is for professionals. Look at that truck. Yeah, this is the way in which we unload the fruit. Every single day we process 60 trucks, which correspond to 2 million of kilos of fruit. And here the operators remove the fruits that are not conforming. Fruit that are damaged, small pieces of fruit. These fruits are used in the process of animal feed that we have. Even the rejects yeah. do something with them. Hall. Once we have the use without cells, we send it to those tanks. If we don't pasteurize well the product, the quality would be reduced very fast. How long can you keep it for? The manufacturer says that we could leave the use there for more than one year, even two years. So you could keep orange juice in these tanks for two whole years? Yeah, we could. That's incredible. Oh. <laughs> Ultimately, you can keep that juice fresh 
or as good as fresh for two years? Well, <laughs> our business is to sell product, not to, not to store it. So we empty the tanks and fill it several times every season. When you add some cells or, or pulp to the juice, yeah. you improve the, quite a lot of the quality. How much pulp are you putting in, Roger? 3%, less than 3%. So just a little amount will make a difference. It's the, quite a strange concept, the, this is, putting well, it back into the juice. Well, in fact, this is not a, a miracle. We are reproducing the same that was in the, in, the, in the modern nature. There are producers that use Spanish juice, but the cells come from for instance, Florida. Some buy the cells from Spain, some others from North America, from, from Brazil, they are different. And they'll use different percentages, so maybe they, they 2%, 3%, yeah. 4%. The, in Asia and China, they like very pulpy juice. Very, very, pulpy. Very, very, yeah. In China? China. And this is? Cheers. Cheers. The bottlers are our customers. They have their their formula. And each bottler will have their own. Yeah, have their own recipe. So Even secret recipe. Secret. Secret. Well, the the the, the recipe is, is secret, but you have to put the ingredients. I don't know what my customers do with my cells or my juice. It depends on the final product. 